everyone and today on Nudes Radio we're highlighting Saffron's work with Pakistani artists that we were working with during this past year in collaboration with the British Council Pakistan. Now there is limited resources for women, trans and non-binary people in Pakistan and we want to shine a light on some of the incredible people we've worked with. So for those who don't know, Saffron is a Bristol-based organisation addressing the gender imbalance within the music industry. Supported by the British Council, Saffron has been working with 25 women, trans and non-binary people in Pakistan. And we provided a year's access to Saffron Members Club, online community talks, Q&As, mentoring sessions and more. We'll get into that a bit later, but on today's show, I'll be speaking to two of the participants of this programme. Lamimi and Maham. First, we will be speaking to Maham. Maham is an artist of Pakistani origin. She is a traveling vocalist, songwriter, sonic artist and producer. Her primary genre is world beat, though as a songwriter and producer, she has an eclectic mix of a few styles, ethnic fusion, ambient, electronic, blues, soul, experimental. Maham has a performed and recorded in seven languages and composes across cultures and styles, occasionally throwing in some sound samples of her own. Maham has worked nationally and internationally with various music artists and art, theatre festivals, cultural venues and social causes. Her sonic art and AV installations are part of gallery displays sometimes as well. So very, very, very versatile talented participant that we're going to speak to now. Hey Maham, thank you so much for joining us on this nude special today. It's been an honour to meet you through this year with um, the British Council Partnership. Um, I'd like to know a little bit more about your upbringing, growing up. What were your childhood influences in Pakistan? Well, I am the first born of my parents. So my earliest memories of uh, childhood exposure to music are mainly from home and from school. So at home, I remember my father's collection would include artists ranging from Simon and Garfunkel to Elvis Presley to Doris Gray and uh, 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 even Bonnie M and Abba, my parents would like to listen to on the pop side of things. And then uh, there were also Indian, uh, late Indian artists such as Kishore Kumar and such and such. And in school, I would be uh, in the school assembly playing the melodica, classics like Rasputin. And we were exposed to music from Sound of Music and Mary Poppins and all of that. We had a choir, so I was singing in that too. Okay, okay, interesting. So a really big melting pot of influences from yeah, Mary Poppins to ABBA. That is quite interesting um, to hear that that is what was in your home and in your environment in Pakistan. How was your creative um, dreams or your need to be an artist nurtured in those early stages? Were your family helpful? Were there teachers? Was there a community supporting you at the time? How did you feel supported growing up? So while growing up, in terms of career guidance, my parents did do the best that they could when I was passing out of school. But then again, the choice of professions that they had in mind were very limited. And I was definitely influenced by them at that point because I was just like, what, 14 or something. Although they saw that during my school time, I would especially get piano lessons as an extracurricular sort of an activity. Uh, I'd stay back after school and learn the piano, sight reading and all of that. But during my teenage, they weren't very supportive of this because they themselves, each of my parents come from very different professions than entertainment, although we have uh, artists in the extended family. But my parents didn't really look upon music as something um, profitable or worthy enough uh, to be pursued as a profession. And it wasn't later in my life then once I started achieving and getting acknowledgement from outside the home that they realized. And then also I had to take a lot of stands and be very rebellious during my teenage to go out there and jam with underground bands and to continue being my crazy self in my creative spirit. So uh, 
yeah, it wasn't until my 20s that they started getting more supportive, actually. Okay, interesting. I I definitely can understand that. And I think that there are similarities of some people who are children of immigrants here in the UK. We have a similar dynamic where our parents are not as supportive of creative industries until maybe some success or later down the line um, where they can see it as being profitable because that is not something that was openly discussed as a viable career option before so i definitely understand that and um yeah i think the resources access to education access to community is so integral in a creative growth so we're really happy to have you on board the saffron team could you talk to us a little bit about your experience with saffron and how you found the partnership over the past year I have found the Saffron partnership as a very relevant one indeed because Saffron is run by women and non-binary members from the music community and it's for such people as well. So that way I think Saffron has given us not just a very good platform uh, to connect with each other and with people who come from somewhat in some ways certain similar sort of challenging sort of backgrounds. I think it's a very good platform to network and connect with, to help each other learn and grow and find and create uh, more opportunities together. And the mentorship that I've received from uh, through Saffron is also amazing in terms of the workshops that you guys have been arranging when one wants to learn about the tech or the production side of music or the music business side. I think Saffron has added a lot of value to me and to other members. Oh, that is so good to hear. We at Saffron really, really encourage everyone to participate and connect with each other when we do these sorts of partnerships and we're really happy to hear when people feel connected and they feel as if they feel closer to their community through these partnerships Um, because we definitely feel closer to our global community through these partnerships so thank you so much and um, we are going to hear some of your music today which I'm really excited about Uh, But before we do, what's it like to be an artist in Pakistan? Could you talk us through a little bit about what it feels like to be a creative in Pakistan? So it's definitely more challenging than it is in other parts of the world. And this is not just a very subjective opinion. Number one, we don't have educational institutions for a lot of formal programs. And then, of course, there are also issues such as at the core level, there are concerns when it comes to industries and uh, departments uh, they are very much in fear of being attacked by certain fundamentalist groups around who consider music as haram, which is something against the religion, which is a very wrong impression of the religion of Islam. So there is one fallacy about music like that in the society at the uh, at certain levels. There is no infrastructure f- uh, for the music business uh, models. There is no specialized offices, companies, even record labels. We don't have a PRO, which is a performing rights organization essential to the music industry and then for women especially it's more problematic because uh, there you're already existing in a in a place where there's so much lack of awareness and infrastructure in the industry itself there is a higher chance of exploitation also then you see there is no end how a woman is vulnerable like that and especially in the society where already the respect of women is the list goes on and on but basically despite there being so much potential in the country, so many cultures within one region, so many talented people in the big cities learning just off the internet. We don't have uh, the right kind of guidance, uh, career counseling while growing up, and then later even uh, infrastructures to support people who are educated in 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 the profession. The potential goes to waste or people just move abroad. So it's sad. Mm, That definitely is sad and I think we are going to get into more of a deeper conversation with both Maham and Lamimi later in the show. But for now, Maham is going to perform a very special performance set for us. So stay locked. You are listening to Saffron on Nudes Radio. Thank you. 
So uh, when the word diversity comes up, yeah, the first word that came to my mind as well was um, inclusivity or inclusion. Uh, because um, uh, also I, I'm someone who really believes like I even have rainbow colors in my hair. So, <laughs> you know, like I, I believe in like um, all colors coming together. I believe in, um, uh, so I mean, when I think of diversity, I think of um, different uh, ethnicities, uh, uh, skin colors, um, passports, nationalities, uh, cultures, languages, even sounds, you know. For me, even sound has its own like identity. And uh, as someone who's worked with a few different ethnicities and cultures and brings those uh, together in her music and her uh, even some of my soundscapes sort of, you know, sound design work, uh, that's what I'm doing uh, a lot. And uh, yeah, so diversity is basically like a spectrum to me, you know. So on that spectrum, there are these different tones or shades, like even with color wheels, how it happens, you know. But then all of those somehow do merge and, you know, uh, create a hybrid of their own when they come together. So that's what diversity to me is. Hey, Marie, we are Saffron. And today we put on a special Pakistan show highlighting some of our Pakistani members in our Saffron Members Club. For anybody who isn't aware of our Saffron Members Club, it is an online community for women, non-binary people, trans and gender non-conforming people to connect and educate people all over the world in aspects of music production, sound engineering, DJing, music business, artist development. And it's a platform for people to share their skills and take them to the next level we have online workshops um, every month so if you're interested in connecting with us and joining our members club head over to www.saffronmusic.co.uk forward slash members if you want to follow up on any of the artists featured in today's show the artists are Lamimi and Maham Lamimi you can find at, at L A dot M I M I I I underscore and Maham you can find at M A H A M underscore S U H A I L underscore. So both of those are incredible artists. We are blessed to feature on today's show. Thank you very much. Signing out, and we'll see you next time. Mm-hmm.